This is part two of the story, The Delightful Stranger. If you haven't seen part one, go watch it. I'll put a link at the end of this video and also in the description. The Delightful Stranger, the sequel, the letters. September 21, 1973. Dear Eric, I hope this letter finds you well. It's been a year since we last saw each other and my heart still aches from our parting. I often visit our park bench where we shared our secrets and dreams. The memories are etched in my heart and I cherish them dearly. Life in our small town continues, but it's not the same without you. The sunset at the park are still as beautiful, but they lack the warmth of your presence. I remember the way your eyes sparkled in the twilight. I'm grateful for the time we spent together, even though it was brief. Ollie's passing was a difficult time, but his words of encouragement stayed with me. I've tried my best to find happiness, but a part of me will always belong to you. Please take care of yourself, Eric. I hope you find joy and success in your life in the Netherlands. Write to me when you can, and know that my thoughts are always with you. With warmth and affection, Fatima. December 10, 1973. My dearest Fatima, your letters brought tears to my eyes. I think of you often, and the memories of our time together keep me company during these long, chilly nights here in Utrecht. Life here is different, and I miss the vibrant colors and sounds of Indonesia. But the most profound absence is the sound of your laughter and the sparkle in your eyes. I remember the way you made every day feel like an adventure. I'm doing my best with my studies and making new friends, but none of them can compare to the connection we shared. It's like a beautiful painting with a missing piece. You're that piece in my life, Fatima. Please continue to take care of yourself and find happiness. I hope that someday fate will allow our paths to cross again. Until then, know that I carry your memory in my heart. With love and longing, Eric. March 2nd, 1974. My dear Eric, your words warm my heart and your absence leaves a void in my life. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well with your studies and making new friends. I have no doubt that you're making a positive impact on everyone you meet. As for me, I've tried to find happiness and life moves on. I've started a small business in our town selling handcrafted jewelry. It keeps me busy and allows me to express my creativity. But Eric, a part of me remains unfulfilled without you. I often find myself looking at the stars, wondering if you're gazing at the same sky. They say that distance makes the heart grow fonder, but really it makes my heart grow frantic. I hope you're surrounded by love and warmth in Utrecht. Please know that you are always in my thoughts and I eagerly await your letters. May we find a way to bridge this great distance that separate us. Kisses, Fatima. July 1st, 1974. My dearest Fatima, your letters are my lifeline and they bring me solace. I'm glad to hear that you found a creative outlet with your jewelry business. Your talents are boundless, and I'm sure your creations are as beautiful as your heart. Life here in Utrecht is busy, but there's a hollowness that never fades. I've met many people, but none of them can fill the void you left behind. I long for the day when I can see your smile again. Fatima, I've been offered a job in Amsterdam, and it's too good to pass up. I've accepted it. But it means I'll be here for a while longer. Please understand that this decision was not made lightly, and it doesn't change the way I feel about you. I hope you continue to find happiness and success in your endeavors. My heart yearns for the day when we can finally be together again. With all my love, Eric. November 29, 
1974. My dearest Eric, your letter brought both joy and sorrow to my heart. I'm glad to hear of your job opportunity, but my heart aches at the thought of our separation continuing. Life has been a roller coaster of emotions since you left. I've expanded my jewelry business, and it's doing well. But, Eric, I can't deny that my heart belongs to you. I yearn for the day when we can be together, when we can sit on our park bench once more and watch the sunset. Time has passed, and I've grown older, but my love for you remains as strong as ever. I pray for the day when distance will no longer keep us apart. Please take care of yourself, Eric, and remember that you are always in my thoughts and in my heart. With enduring love, Fatima. August 14, 1978. My beloved Fatima, I hope this letter finds you in good health and happiness. It's been five long years since we last saw each other. I imagine you are very busy with your business, but I can't bear this separation any longer. I've achieved success in my career, but it feels empty without you by my side. I've been thinking, Fatima. I've been thinking about returning to your small town in Indonesia, to the place where our love first blossomed. My heart aches for you, and I cannot deny that you are the missing piece of my life's puzzle. Maybe life has moved on for both of us, and you have your business and your responsibilities. But I'm willing to take a chance, Fatima. My love for you has not changed, and I cannot imagine a future without you in it any longer. I hope and pray that you will be there for me too, and that fate will finally bring us back together. Until then, please know that you are the love of my life and you have my heart, no matter the distance. Let me know what you think. If you feel the same, I'm ready to make arrangements to come to you this winter. With all my love and longing, Eric. The story continues in part three, the final chapter. Go watch it, I'll put a link at the end of this video and also in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, please support it and this channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, please hit that subscribe button and remember, enjoy the journey. See you next time.